Hey everyone, this is Nicole from KenHub, and in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the organs of the respiratory system. The respiratory system is comprised of several organs that facilitate the intake of oxygen, which is needed for tissue function, and also the expulsion of carbon dioxide, which is a byproduct of respiration through exhalation. In this tutorial, we'll discuss the organs that make up the respiratory system and their function. The respiratory system can be divided into the upper, middle, and lower respiratory tracts. To begin with, let's look at the organs that make up the upper respiratory tract, most of which, except the parts of the pharynx that come in contact with the food bolus, are lined with ciliated pseudostratified columnar epithelium, also known as respiratory epithelium. The first organ of the upper respiratory tract that we see here is the nose, and it's the only part of the respiratory tract that's visible externally. The structure of the nose is comprised of a framework of hyaline cartilage, such as the alar cartilages that form the external nares, and bone, for example, the nasal bones, which form the bridge of the nose. So once air is breathed in through the nose, it enters the nasal cavity. The nasal cavity is a space behind the nasal vestibule that is lined with respiratory epithelium and is divided into two equal chambers by the nasal septum. The piriform aperture is the anterior opening of the nasal cavity and it is bounded by the nasal bones and the maxilla. There are three elevations found on the lateral walls of the nasal cavities that drain the paranasal sinuses, and they are the superior, middle, and inferior nasal conchi. As we just saw, the nasal conchi found on the lateral walls of the nasal cavities drain the paranasal sinuses. There are four paired paranasal sinuses, the maxillary sinuses, and if we cut our skull here sagittally, we can see our frontal sinuses in green, the sphenoidal sinuses, and the ethmoidal sinuses, which we can see here on this image of the superior view of the isolated ethmoid bone. The paranasal sinuses are basically air-filled cavities situated around the nasal cavities that help circulate the air that we breathe, produce mucus, lighten the skull, and also produce a resonance to amplify our vocalizations. Running behind the nasal cavity and the oral cavity is a 5 cm long tube that runs into the esophagus and the respiratory tract known as the pharynx. It connects the nasal cavity to the larynx, allowing air to move in and out of the lungs. It also connects the oral cavity to the esophagus, enabling food and fluids to be passed from the oral cavity to the stomach for further digestion. The pharynx can be divided anatomically into three regions, and these are the nasopharynx, the oropharynx, and the laryngopharynx. The pharynx is the final organ of the upper respiratory tract. Next, let's look at some of the organs of the middle respiratory tract, also known as the respiratory airways. The first organ we'll look at is the larynx, seen here highlighted in green. The larynx is attached to the hyoid bone superiorly and to the trachea inferiorly. It's comprised of many different soft and hard tissues that allow for the production of sound or speech <coughs> as well as breathing. The larynx can be divided into three regions the vestibule, the ventricle, and the infraglottic area. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.